we've launched a series of tutorials talking about montage. Many audiences find the intros of those tutorials are pretty captivating and left to us messages that they want to learn how to turn the video from this looks modern into this, a black and white video that looks vintage. That's exactly what this tutorial made for. If you want to learn how to get your video a vintage look, don't miss out on this tutorial. It's easy to change the style of a video. Basically, we just need to color grade the video to change the tone, add some elements that look vintage, and then blend them together with the blended mode feature. After we figure out the principle of creating the vintage look, it's easy to tell that we can change the style of videos captured by whatever cameras by following these simple steps. Firstly, free download video proc flagger from the comment section. Open it up. Create a new project. Add the prepared video to the video track. Let's start grading the color. Select it. Find the color icon located on the toolbar. Click on it to enter the color in the filter editor panel. First, let's get to the left side of the panel. We have a large number of effects and filters to choose from. In our case, we need to turn this video into black and white. So, let's select a B and a W filter. This can turn our video into black and white immediately. However, it doesn't look vintage enough. Let's go to the inspector panel on the top right. Adjust the temperature slider towards the orange side for a little bit. Scroll down to find the sharpen section. Select it. Drag the slider to adjust these parameters. This is an important element to make a video look vintage. Surely, we can adjust the exposure, contrast, and other parameters as well, based on our need. Now we get this. Looks good. Click on Apply to come back to the main interface. After color grading the video, we can make further edits to retouch it. For example, I feel the video looks a little bit slow. To optimize this, I come over to the inspector panel and find Play Speed. Select the prepared speed ratio to speed up the video. This is the first step that we make a video look vintage. Now let's add the prepared vintage clips. Take a preview. They all looked like clips from old movies, which can deepen the vintage feel. And these are important elements to give your video a vintage look. First, let's add a clip to overlay track. Resize it and fit it to the screen size. Now the original video is hidden. That's fine. We can come over to the inspector panel, scroll down to find a compositing area. Select Multiply Blend Mode. Next, I'll be going to the Play Speed area to select a speed ratio. This is for slowing down the clip. After that, don't forget to adjust the length of the clip to make it align with the video on the video track. Next, we click on the plus icon located on the very left of the overlay track to add a new overlay track. Add another clip that looks vintage to this track. Similarly, fit the size to the screen. 
Then we go to the compositing area. We may find it doesn't look as good as expected if we still choose multiply blend mode because it looks too dark. Thus, it's important to select another more appropriate blend mode. Similarly, adjust the speed of this clip. That's all for adding a vintage look to a video. Of course, for a better look, you can also add a piece of retro music clip. Drag it to the audio track. Trim its length according to the duration of the video. Apply a fade out effect. This can help us get a more engaging and standout outcome. Alright, that's all for today. If you want to see more creative tutorials of different types and topics, be sure to leave us a message. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!